being able to get your machines into production as quickly as possible after each run is completed. Uh, one of the great things about Baradon formatted designs is that they can be pre-programmed with the exact color chain sequence that you need based on what colors you already have threaded on your machine. So depending on the size of your shop, you can set your Wilcom software up so that the color bar on the Wilcom has exactly the same colors in the same sequence as your embroidery machines. If you have multiple machines, you can have a different template for each machine in Wilcom, and each template can have a different color sequence. So, as a demonstration of that, what I have here is I created a, a number of designs, and they are all pre-programmed with the color code necessary um, to stitch that design with the right color. And for the sake of the exercise, um, I've simply typed out the name of the color as well. So what we do here, we simply use the barcode scanner and we scan download, scan the name of the design, scan OK, and the design is found and it's loaded into the memory of the machine. Now the first thing is you can see it's displayed on screen in the color that it's going to be stitched in. So that's a great help to a machine operator. They have a visual clue straight away that this, this part of the design has to be stitched in, in that color. So the other thing I'd like to show you is that when I put the machine into drive mode, um, this, this machine has been uh, set up previously with a particular size of hoop. And you can choose the hoops by pressing the outline button here and this will display a range of the different sizes of hoops that you can use on this Baradon machine. Um, so, I'll go back to and put the machine into drive, which is the mode in which it's ready to start. And you'll see the first thing that happens is, because the 15 centimeter hoop was selected, it's displaying the design inside the hoop. Now we have the thick blue line, which is the actual hoop itself. The thin blue line around the inside is the safety margin. That's a 10 millimeter safety margin. Now what's really good about this is, if I move the pantograph, or the frame, you can see as I get closer, now the hoop and the safety margin have turned to red. So that means that in that position, my design is going to extend into the unsafe area of the hoop. So there's a high probability of a collision between the needle or presser foot and the hoop. So I can either manually move it back or a quicker way is I just press and hold the centering button. That moves the design exactly into the middle of the hoop. Now in this case I'm actually wanting to run the design a little bit towards the outside of this hoop. So I'm going to move it up and as long as the as long as the um, hoop stays blue, I know I'm within the safety margin. Now there's one more thing that I need to do, uh, and this is a new safety measure in the, in the K-Series machine, is that it's not uncommon for embroidery machine operators from time to time to accidentally crash the needles into the hoop. Now we have already a visual clue or, or cue that we're not going to go anywhere near the hoop in this instance. But as a double security measure, the K-Series machine can be set so that it can't be started until the operator has performed an outline trace. So we press the outline trace, and the laser pointer will show uh, the needle drop position, and then we're ready to start. Now, one other thing to notice before we start, currently the machine is on needle number 11, which is an orange color. Uh, but because my design is pre-programmed with the correct color sequence, all I have to do is press start, 